Let's speak to him now. Premier Dugana, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations. Uh, but before we talk about, you know, your priorities for the free state, South Africa has been grey listed. Your reaction? Well, there is a lot that we, we need to look into the reason behind this decision. But as you say, uh, some of the things that uh, we, we have been witnessing now, the bullying from the West, uh, every time you act in the best interest of your country, then they act in a manner in which uh, uh, they actually uh, tend to punish you. So I think South Africa will respond accordingly, the South African government will respond accordingly on this matter. So very briefly, then you agree with those who are saying it's a political decision? Yes, I do. I do. It's a political decision. Remember, there's also been some uh, more, uh, you know, uh, pressure put on some of the Western countries, uh, including USA, to, to really uh, put pressure on the South African government. All right. Let's then talk about the free state. I mean, uh, you, you're taking over a province which, uh, you know, by the ANC's own admission through some of the interviews I've done with some of the officials here on the show who talk about the service delivery challenges that continue then to plague that province. Let's talk about your one priority as you go into this role. All these challenges that you would mention uh, go to one thing, and that one thing is lack of active uh, participation of uh, the people themselves in determining their fate. Because once you have uh, people uh, alert, aware, informed, and actively involved, it uh, undermines any opportunity of uh, doing things that are not supposed to be done by any person who's given the authority. So people will be able to look into the the kind of service that they are getting and understand why things are not happening the way they are, they are supposed to happen and uh, uh, demand uh, answers from uh, those who are their own representatives so the most important thing that we need to do now is to get uh, uh, active participation of the people get them involved and make them become active participants instead of uh, passive recipients of services that would also, for instance, if you want to clean some of the townships and some of the, uh, the towns, uh, you need to get them involved and understand that it is also in the best interest that uh, they they take a responsible action. Uh, it doesn't help you clean tomorrow, it is dirty again. So once there is a conscious uh, uh, understanding of why this thing is happening and why they are involved, it helps a lot. So that is basically the most important thing for me to do. That will unlock mm. all other things. Uh, and, and some have, uh, of course, had mixed reaction to, to, to you know, your appointment now and, and saying that, um, you know, you're looking at XNSA, for example, saying you are hardly the man to provide stability and leadership in this particular province. Others say that you were part of the leadership in the past that also, you know, for them, contributed to where the free state finds itself in right now and they simply do not trust that things could be done differently how differently then are you going to do things now i, I believe that uh, it is not in what people say uh, and what you say but it is mm. how we respond to that by acting uh, putting up action and providing bold leadership and and uh, being uh, courageous in, in the steps that you take. And that is what I think one brings into the, the fore. Uh, boldness and, uh, and innovation and courageous leadership. And for you, would that be something that had been lacking before when you were in government? I think for a very long time, our, our province has been uh, in a situation that uh, undermined good governance uh, and also undermined talent that has been their skills and uh, led allowed uh, a strong man mentality to emerge but understanding the complexity of uh, what is happening in the world and south africa as well as the province uh, is not uh, immune from these changes you need to to understand that uh, you need to create a learning organization but at the same time 
you need also to be prepared to, to learn from time to time of the things that need to be attended to and how they need to be attended to and uh, evolve with the time. Uh, yeah. But if you yeah. have a situation where only a strong person uh, will call the shots, it actually leads to what uh, many people uh, lose interest in, in, in participating. Pardon me for coming in there. What happens now with uh, the former Premier, Sissi Dombel? The we are still in discussions with the with the uh, with the national leadership uh, because we we felt that it would be appropriate that uh, if uh, also she decides uh, to completely retire, that is a call. But if she wants to continue serving our people, there are many other opportunities that she can explore. There's also, um, you know, one thing, of course, that you now need to do, which one can view as a challenge as well. And I'm going to implore you to, to wear a different hat now and be the chairperson of the ANC in the province. The deep divisions that do exist in that particular province were laid bare. I mean, right now, just a few days ago, we saw even the suspension of, you know, three party members in the Mangaung region, but also we saw even at the conference where you were elected, a lot of, you know, ructions that erupted leading to some of the delays as well. And we then saw people saying quite a lot, even in the sidelines post that particular election there. So there's a lot that the ANC in that province is going to deal with. And you've talked about unity, the president talking about unity. How do you begin to heal the rifts that are clear? Yeah. The most important thing also that people need to understand is the situation that, uh, pardon me about that, no the situation that uh, we, we experience as a province in many instances where you end up getting people who I believe that uh, they, 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 they have a right to do things that they've been doing and they cannot be called to order and the lack of discipline emerges and then we find ourselves having a crisis in our hands. So discipline is very important in, the, in any organization and you need to push people to appreciate that. But if you do not have the value system that is uh, in, uh, congruent with the value system of the party, uh, you would have a problem. But also, if you have a mentality of people coming in uh, just to make sure that uh, they use the party for uh, for their own ends. That also becomes a crisis. So we need to, as an organization, to ensure that people who get elected in some of these positions, uh, and especially in the ANC, are the right people for the job all the time, and uh, help them to be accountable, and help them to understand that it is not about them, but that they are vessels that uh, should be utilized to serve our people. Is this, is this a possibility though, looking at the state of the ANC in the province? No, the, 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 as I said, there are serious challenges that we are facing and uh, that we must deal with. We, we must uh, avoid, uh, you know, running away from difficult uh, situations that we confront, but we should be, as I said, we should be bold in taking decisions. Some will be unpopular, but uh, decisions uh, that need to be taken uh, must be taken. And when we talk about unity also, is that we're not talking about uh, people uh, you know, laughing together or these are, you know, people should not have disagreement. We're talking about uh, the, the, what is informed by the organization itself, as I said, the value but also how do you unite with a person who is hell-bent in destroying uh, the organization by not serving the people? At the end, people turn up and say the ANC is corrupt. So if you have a, a people who would uh, use the opportunities given to them to serve and they do other things, should we say we are afraid to take action because we, we're protecting uh, you know, unity of the organization? And I say, no, if you're not prepared to do what is expected of you uh, and using this organization for your own personal needs, then you do not belong to the organization and the organization can surely not unite with such individuals. 
So those are some of the things that we must be uh, bold and upfront about. All right, let's uh, then see what happens. As you say, that it's not about how you respond, what you say, but it's what you do. And a lot of residents tonight wanting to know what will happen with sanitation issues, what will happen with the state of some of the roads there in the province, what happens with the issues around the healthcare system. So we will continue then to monitor um, what happens in terms of service delivery in that province and hopefully speak to you again. That is the Premier of the Free State, Olisi Dugwano.